Hello, friend. <laughs> I should really do these videos more often so that I don't always have to start them by being like, oh, it's been so long since I've seen you. Um, but hello, <laughs> it's been so long since I've seen you. <laughs> um, oh, dear. The last time I did one of these videos, videos. The last time I did one of these videos, it was to celebrate one year since I had released my album Growing Pains. Um, and as you may or may not know, probably not because I haven't been talking about it very much, I <laughs> recently released a new EP, which is very exciting. It's uh, five songs uh, and it's called Little Box. Um, I've got weird and sad almost as soon as I released it, so I haven't been talking about it very much. But if you haven't heard it yet, there'll be some links in the description. I'm very proud of it. Um, I think it's I think it's really cool. It's full of bangers. It's my first time working with a producer on like a full project like this, um, as opposed to just like me on Audacity against the world. <laughs> so that's been very exciting. Uh, the producer is Nathan Cox. He is fantastic. He also produced uh, Marsha, which we released uh, last year. Um, and I just think it's great. I think it's really cool. It's been really fun to work on uh, and I'm really proud of it. And I just, you should listen to it. Thank you. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, just like last time with Growing Pains, I did a little call out for questions that you may have about the EP. And I thought that we would try and answer some of them here, if you will so indulge me. So let's go. Woo. We've gotten a few questions about my favorite song on the EP. Um, I will say probably one of my favorite songs I've ever written that is on the EP uh, is one called Elephant, which is a song about having feelings for someone um, or just like really admiring someone and like wanting to be around them, but being really awkward and weird about it um, and not like knowing how to be a person, <laughs> but like just wanting to be around them no matter the cost and no matter like how awkward it makes you feel. Um, I really like the image of, of someone like because the hook of it is I'll be the elephant in the room if it means I'm there um which I just think is a very fun line which related someone has asked what my favorite lyric on the EP is it's probably that one I think that one's really cool it's I just I really like the image of someone sort of standing in the corner being like very just like imposing and awkward and strange um and like no one else acknowledging them like a like a giant in the corner uh shout out taylor swift for anti-hero you get it you get it <laughs> how long have you been working on it for is a question that's come up a few times um so it's good this is kind of a weird one because we decided to make an ep maybe like sometime last year i want to say like November maybe I could be wrong but the songs on it some of them are older than that the oldest song on it is a song called you which I wrote when I was like 17 maybe 16 17 um so that one is quite old um but I never I never wrote it with the thought of an EP process so I don't think that that counts in terms of the timeline um but in terms of actually producing it it took uh quite a while from like inception of the idea to actually getting it out there but it has been a very fun process it has been really cool to see these things come to life there's also been like lots of changes in terms of like what songs are going to go on it and what we wanted them to sound like and stuff like that so those sorts of things take time um but now it's finally yours and you didn't have to wait for all of that time because you didn't even know so sneaky <laughs> which song are you most excited to hear produced by nathan so of the five tracks two of them are produced uh just by me on my lonesome which are to the bone and irish goodbye the most stripped back and simple ones because that's all i can handle <laughs> um but the other three so uh you little box and elephant um which are incidentally the three singles um well to the bone was a single in its own right but that's the thing there now the like three uh like lead singles i suppose were all produced by nathan and they are pardon my french fucking bangers <laughs> um in terms of which i was most excited to hear him produce i suppose you just because um that one is quite old 
in terms of of my song i think it's the first song i ever wrote in an open tuning um it's probably one of the first songs that i can remember writing and being like oh this is like a banger like i i am using banger very loosely it is a very sad slow song but it just it at its core i think it bangs i don't know i was just really excited to hear like that song get new life i suppose but then also like elephant and little box are just are just great and it was really exciting to hear songs um with drums on them what's the process like between you and your producer when making a song um so me and nathan worked on this project remotely uh i.e he is based in london and i am based in dublin so i would write and record my little bits here here at home with my guitar and this mic and stuff i would record all my vocals and and d like kind of the bare bones of a song uh and like maybe with harmony ideas and stuff and then i would send it off to nathan and then he would work his magic and send back his ideas and we would kind of bounce it back and forth like that which was a very cool way to work because you know if it if remote work wasn't a thing then i wouldn't have been able to work with nathan um so that is a win but it is kind of strange to not be in the studio with someone and being able to like point out the bits that you like um so my notes would be in like voice message form which i'm sure uh was very upsetting <laughs> did you record any songs that didn't make it onto the ep yes there were some songs that I wrote that didn't make it onto the EP that I only have very rough demos of. Uh, there was one song that we like did a sort of rough produced version of that didn't end up making it onto the EP um, that I might do stuff with at later dates. Um, at the start of this year, I wrote maybe more songs than I have ever written. Um, and I wasn't really writing them with the thought that they would go onto the EP, but I did for one or two of them think like maybe this would be a nice fit um but i've kind of decided instead to save them for future projects the cover is rad what is the most meaningful track for you if you can choose one first of all thank you the cover is done by the incredible neve barry i will link her stuff below she's an amazing photographer and so cool and fun to work with oh she's just delightful in terms of the most meaningful track to me um i would say maybe I don't know. To the Bone, I think, has really um, kind of changed my life a little bit. It's it's the first song I've ever had to hit a million streams. People seem to really like it, which is really very cool. Um, and I was always fond of that song, and I just never thought to release it because I wanted to keep it like, you know, kind of close. And then and then um, after posting it online and seeing the response to it, it kind of evolved into something more where I could see that it it meant even more to people than it does to me <laughs> which but I, I get messages all the time from people saying that they've played it at their wedding or that they're gonna play it at their wedding or that it was like it's their like first dance song or that it's like a song between them and their partner or their or like makes them think of their grandparents or their families and I just that means the world to me I think um everything that's happened around that song has made it really uh special and important to me um and it's just really cool to have like this sweet little cheesy song about a fictional couple um, evolved to mean so much for so many like real people. <laughs> Let me go onto Twitter. Let's go onto Twitter. Ooh, interesting question. In the original demo of Little Box, the line is, I like it when you leave, you give me room to grieve. But in the EP, it was changed to, you give me room to breathe. What prompted this change? What is the difference between those versions for you? Um, so fun fun fact that i am only just learning about my own ep uh i wrote the lyric down wrong it's grieve in both versions um i just made a mistake <laughs> so the lyrics are wrong that's on me were there any songs you were apprehensive to share which song felt most vulnerable for you to release that's a good question um i was maybe a little apprehensive about irish goodbye just because I don't know. I feel like it's a song that I'm writing not as someone who has emigrated. I still live in Dublin. Um, I just think about going other places all the time because I really do love it here, but it just doesn't love me back. It's hard to like make roots here and, and as a young person. But I don't know. I feel like someone has to stay and make it better. I don't know. It's a whole, it's complicated. I think that's why I was apprehensive about releasing it is because it's complicated. And I have gotten some, I've gotten a lot of comments from people saying that they related, that they, they're like, oh, it's so true. And then I've got other people being like, what are you talking about? Ireland's great. Or people being like, my place is worse. And it's like, both things can be true. <laughs> um, so I don't know. 
but I think, you know, I'm glad that it's out there. I'm proud of it. Uh, and in terms of production, I tried to sneak in as many little sounds of uh, Ireland and of my friends and family and loved ones and stuff as I could. So it feels very special to me to have. How do you continuously create masterpieces? There's not a single skip. I'm not going to put that in, but it's very sweet, Hannah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've answered a lot of questions. I think now I will turn a question to you, which is, what is your favorite track on the EP? What do you think of it? Do you like it? Give me all your thoughts. I want to hear them. Um, also, I was wondering, a little while ago for the Growing Pains uh, album, I put out like a limited release of Growing Pains related merch. Um, and I was wondering if I were to have, say, hypothetically, like um, a more like permanent merch store, um, what sort of things would you like? What sort of designs, maybe? What sort of like actual physical things would you enjoy? Like hoodies, t-shirts, I don't know, tote bags. Is that a thing that people still, I like tote bags. I don't, I feel like they're falling out of favor. I think people are realizing that they're really impractical, but I just think they're neat. Um, okay, cool. Have a good day. Follow me on things or don't, uh, whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> and listen to the EP. Do you do that? Do you listen to the EP? Because uh, I'm proud of it and I think that you'll like it. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>